Hello, my name is Carlin, and this is Brutal Battle Beer Break. Um, wanted to give this a little shot. It's a big departure from doing the normal podcasting, um, the Brutal Battle podcast, which you can find, you know, at brutalbattle.com, or you can find on iTunes or Stitcher, uh, things like that. Um, a lot of people have been asking about, you know, where's the video component to all of this? And I was like, eh, I kind of don't want to get into that, but I decided, you know what, it, it could be pretty interesting. So I'm going to do something small as far as video component goes, and that's why I'm doing this Brutal Battle Beer Break, and it'll just be whenever I'm, you know, about to uh, enjoy a beer, I can share with you guys what I'm going to be drinking. You know, I'll do kind of the typical Brutal Battle stuff. I don't, I don't think I'm going to rate them on a, on a um, 1 through 10 scale, or maybe I might, I don't know, whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Um, but just kind of go over what the beer is and show you the coloration of it and talk about the aromas and what I'm tasting in the beer. Um, today seemed like a perfect day to get this thing started. It's a Monday. I just worked. Uh, you can see I'm, you know, wearing my clothes from work. Obviously, I don't normally dress like this. I certainly don't dress like this when I'm recording the show. Um, I am in my kitchen, so I don't know if the acoustics in here is a little weird, but we'll figure that one out. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get right to the beer. The first beer we're going to be doing here is a little thing we called uh, we called Day Tripper Pale Ale. And you can see right there it says Day Tripper Pale Ale. It is by a brewery called Indeed Brewing. Now, Indeed Brewing is out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, good stuff uh, from what I've been told. I've had a little bit of it. I've had this one before, but it's been a little bit for me. I've also had their Let It Ride IPA, which I enjoyed. Uh, this beer was compliments of Andrew Peavy, uh, who does live in Minnesota. Uh, so anyway, uh, just wanted to go ahead and technology, you know, I think starts going down. I don't know what's up with that. Bear with me on this. Anyway, I'm going to crack this sucker open. Pour it in my Pipeworks glass. I'm not going to pour all of it in because I will be sharing some with my wife, Rebecca. It's important to share with your uh, significant others. Put that there so you can uh, so you can see it a little bit. Um, like you can see, it looks nice. It looks orange, very orangey. There's a nice head to it right there. Hazy. I don't know if that's like a chill haze or. Well, I mean, you can kind of see through it, so I think it's a chill haze that you're basically getting out of. But look at that head. That's a really nice head, which signifies to me that I'm going to be able to get some good aromas off of this. <laughs> if you can't tell this smells amazing this smells so citrusy to me it's like tangerine it's like very sweet orange a little lemony too god that just smells so robust it's a very very robust smelling beer and god i just love the smell this is my wheelhouse you know and you know i was kind of surprised the first time i had it because pale ale you know you would think yeah, there could be some citrusiness to it, but as far as like extreme citrus, like this is showcasing on the aroma, you're thinking more IPAs. So this is very like IPA like, um, very hoppy pale ale. Let me taste it. Yeah, you definitely get a lot of the citrus in the flavor of it. Um, it's bringing more bitterness to it, especially on the finish kind of like you're getting a bit of like an orange rind at the end there but the uh the citrusy burst that at first and then kind of trailing off to uh the rind is really really nice and um it's a good beer i'm really enjoying it hmm mm. there's a little bit of like a funk to it that you can get with uh, really hoppy beers from time to time um some people would say it's a little dank ish you know um you know, people out there that like to describe it that way. Um, it's very, it's got a bit of like a floraliness to it. I don't so much get that on the nose, but when I actually sip on it, I a little grassy, little florally. Hmm. Overall, quite a nice beer. I really enjoy it. So indeed, brewing, uh, you've done a good job. Let me go ahead and say uh, it's in cans, and let's see what the percentage is on this. It is 5.4% alcohol by volume. They actually say 45 IBUs on this thing. It says, Hatch from our craving for endless adventure, big and small, far and near. Day Tripper is your faithful hoppy companion. 
Take it with you on your favorite lake, trail, or just the backyard, and you'll be on your way. Four pounds of hops per barrel give this West Coast-inspired pale ale a heady, dank, and citrus-laced aroma, all supported by a malt backbone complex enough to keep this beer from being a one-hop trick pony. Ah, clever. Uh, So there you go. Actually, I had not read this before I started smelling and tasting it, so I think I was pretty close on it. So, um, yeah, awesome. Hope everyone's enjoyed this first episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, There will be more to come, and it will be very sporadic how I post them, just kind of whenever I'm inspired. But thank you so much, and take it easy.